They have the best view from their office, travel all over the world, and shuttle millions of people from one place to another. They're taxi drivers. No, wait, they're commercial airline pilots. Though they still get to taxi on the runway, pilots have to be experienced, follow strict requirements, and still, it takes them ages to take the captain seat. These professionals are bound to have some exciting secrets, and they do. Number 1. The captain has a lot of authority. As soon as the plane's doors are locked, the captain has the power to give orders, arrest people, and even write fines if needed. If a passenger is making a scene in the jetway, the pilot has the right to prohibit them from going on board and can take off without the troublemaker. 2. Pilots are proud of their landing technique. A lot of in-flight procedures are computer-assisted these days. That's why pilots appreciate landing so much. Those are almost completely human-operated and require a lot of skills. Ever heard them saying, if you want to compliment your pilot, tell them how smooth the landing was? Well, that's true. 3. They can only fly one type of aircraft at a time. In most countries, pilots are certified to fly a specific airplane model, and they have extensive training exactly on this model. If they want to get a license to command a different plane type, they have to go through additional training. It typically lasts for about 2-3 to three months and includes theory, mock-up flights, and simulator training. 4. Their commutes are spectacular. If a pilot has a possibility to catch flights connecting them to the airline's base airport, they can live literally anywhere in the country. But the drawbacks can be impressive. First, such long commutes take up tons of pilots' unpaid time. Second, every time they have to look for free seats, which are usually only available on crack-of-dawn flights. If a suitable flight is completely booked, a pilot will be simply left behind. That's why they often have to leave home the day before their scheduled flight. Lots of pilots move closer to the base airport and simply drive to work. 5. They might let you look around. If you're terrified of flying, your pilot might let you sneak a peek into the cockpit to distract you and make you feel better. About 90% of pilots say they wouldn't normally say no to an adult passenger or a kid asking for a lightning-quick room tour. 6. The autopilot can't replace pilots. Another widespread myth is that once the plane takes off, pilots can sit back and enjoy the ride. The autopilot will do its job. During the flight, there can be communications issues, route changes, navigational problems. Pilots always have some task at hand, for example, monitoring fuel burn, watching for other planes, and whatnot. Especially whatnot. Boy, I had a whole day of whatnot the other day. Even though pilots don't have their hands on the wheel as often as before, they're still in control of everything that's happening with the plane. 7. Education is expensive. Becoming a commercial airline pilot will cost you thousands of dollars. Whether it is $60,000 or $100,000 depends on the flight school where you train and the type of your training. Hours of flight experience also cost a fortune, and you need a lot of them. In general, to get a commercial pilot certificate, you need at least 250 flight hours under your belt. But some airlines don't hire pilots without 1,500 to 4,000 hours of flight experience. 8. They can fly for free. But it doesn't mean that they can fly anywhere they want at any convenient time. A pilot has the same benefits as anyone else working for the airline. Just like other employees, they have to wait for a standby, which means an available seat on the needed flight. Most pilots don't want their vacation to rely on such an unpredictable situation and pay for their tickets. 9. Pilots have a lot of exams. Every 12 months, pilots have to complete something like a driving test, only in an airplane. Every year or half a year, depending on their age, pilots have to pass a medical examination. Every 6 months, pilots have their emergency procedure simulator assessment. Besides those, there is also technical testing, aviation security, and dangerous goods examination training, and so on. If a pilot fails any of these, they get removed from their flight duties. 10. Co-pilots are just as important. 
There's a misleading belief that co-pilots are either trainees or subordinates that do nothing but wait for the captain to give them orders. This opinion couldn't be further from the truth. Co-pilots are fully qualified professionals who can easily fly the plane. Their job title isn't about skills, it's about seniority. Pilots and co-pilots usually take turns. If one of them flies the plane, for example, to Singapore, the other will fly it back to Sydney. 11. Pilots and co-pilots have different meals. The reason for this precaution is very simple. Imagine both pilots eating the same dish and getting food poisoning. In this case, neither of them will be able to control the plane. If they still want to have the same dish and won't agree to have anything else, there's a safety net. Pilots have their meals at a different time. If one pilot ate the dish and still feels okay several hours later, the other pilot can brave their meal as well. It's also much safer to fly the plane when one of the pilots is ready for action. 12. There's no cargo compartment underneath the plane. After watching different action films, many passengers imagine that at any moment, their pilot might open a secret hatch in the floor and go check the cargo compartment. In reality, airplanes don't have extra layers filled with bags, suitcases, and pet carriers. Even if there are some accessible alcoves under the flight deck or cabin, they're too tiny to walk inside freely. 13. They're mostly as clueless in airports as you are. If you see a pilot walking in front of you at the airport, don't even bother asking them for directions to your gate, bathroom, or the cheapest coffee shop. Unless it's their base airport, pilots know little about places they fly through. If you need information, better ask an airport staff member. 14. It can be a bit boring in the cockpit. Most brand name airlines prohibit their pilots from taking to the cockpit anything that can entertain them during the flight. No reading magazines and books or doing a jigsaw puzzle. Pretty much anything that can potentially distract pilots from controlling the plane. And even though experts recommend listening to music when you fly, it's not about pilots. They have to stay in touch with ground controllers all the time. The only thing they're legally allowed to do to pass the time is to talk with each other and the rest of the flight crew. 15. Pilots ignore turbulence. They often just shake their heads listening to passengers exaggerating the danger they were in during particularly severe turbulence. Pilots know that there's a thing way more dangerous than any turbulence. It's an updraft. That's a big air mass, part of a storm or some other weather phenomenon moving upward. Pilots don't see updrafts on their radars at night. And when a plane hits one, it's like driving over a huge speed bump at 500 miles per hour. An updraft is also extremely treacherous because it can push an aircraft upward to dangerous altitudes. 16. They're often exhausted. Lots of airlines are implementing new rules that could allow pilots to rest more. But it's often still not enough. Some pilots admit that they don't even have time to get some food between their flights, let alone sleep. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right. And remember, stay on the bright side of life.